What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're going back to Mick Gordon. Yes, indeed. Mick Gordon fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video is done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Diego Rodriguez and Winchester2798. They both want to see me react to the song by Mick Gordon called The Only Thing They Fear Is You. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on, this sounds familiar. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Doom Slayer. Okay, yeah, I see what you did there. And the video has 17 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Mick Gordon, the only thing they fear is you, Doom Eternal, OST high quality. Okay, uh, I have yet to play this game. I have it. I own it. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> I, I think I have both Doom games on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, so I, I know I have them. I just, I've, I just have not gotten around to playing them yet. So I know I need to. I also need to play the Devil May Cry series. Everyone's been telling me that as well. I, I promise I will get to them eventually. And the Final Fantasy series. Dear Lord, there's a lot of, there's a lot of gaming I gotta catch up on. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
being very video gameish now. Prior to this section right here, um, it sounded like a legit like rock song. Like it, it, it didn't sound like a video game soundtrack. Now it does. Now it absolutely does with that single voicing. Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's definitely video gamey. Um, but prior to that, man, great groove, great groove, felt nice. I like the energy, I like the drive, I like the direction. Uh, the intensity sounded really good. The mix sounded really good. Everything about that sounded great. I was really digging it until this point. Now it's like, uh, they kept taking voices out, voices out. Now it was down to two, and now it's down to one, and it's like, what next? <laughs> They're going to take that out, and we're going to be left with pure silence? I don't know. Uh, let's keep going here. <laughs> breakdown section like, I, I i get it they, they're they've this is like the third breakdown section they've done where they've you know eliminated all pretty much all of the voices and left it with a single voice dominating with some ethereal sounds in the background i i get it and i know why they're doing that so that when they bring it back in again it's more impactful when all the voices return and we get back into the main groove again it's far more impactful after a breakdown like this i get it i do understand it but I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan with how thin it sounds uh, using that single voice. I'm just not a fan of it. And they've done it three times now. Like I said, I recognize the reasonings why. I get why. I just think it could have been better executed. Maybe, I don't know, maybe have two voices. Or, I don't know. I, I don't know what they could have done to fix that up. But I, I, I do see the impactfulness of when the song does kick back in again. It is far more impactful because of this breakdown. And it's just, eh. You have to suffer through the breakdown to get back to the great entrance again. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's one of those bitter pills you have to swallow. It's like, ah. <laughs> anyway. Um, 
Let's keep going. Let, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. Feels like we're back to the beginning again. That's what they were saying. Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, hmm. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Mick Gordon with The Only Thing They Fear Is You. This was a request from Diego Rodriguez and Winchester 2798. Okay, um, let's just get to it. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 7.8. Yep, 7.8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. This is my second reaction to Mick Gordon uh, from the soundtrack from the Doom uh, video game franchise. The first reaction I did was to a song called BFG Division. And I know I gave it in the eighth. I just don't remember the exact score. It was like an 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. I know it was in the low eights. I intentionally scored this one a little bit lower. But here's the thing. I do feel that BFG Division as a whole, I, I feel like that song was a little better constructed, a little better written than this one. Having said that though, I liked this one better than BFG Division. I'm sorry, I know you what? a lot of people are gonna be calling sacrilege on me for that one and how dare I, but you know what? Everyone's tastes are different. I liked this song more than BFG Division. I, I felt like the groove was more up my alley on this one. Um, it felt, it, okay, it felt simpler. It did, it, it did feel simpler. And I do feel BFG Division was a more complex song. I felt like it had more going for it as far as technicality. But this song just had a nice solid groove to it, man. It really did. I dug the feel on this song more than I did BFG Division, even though BFG Division's uh, song had more going for it. You know what I mean? Um. The groove on this was solid when everybody was playing together. When you had all the voicings together, all the instruments playing together, it sounded thick, it sounded full, it sounded powerful, it sounded nice. And then it would go into this breakdown section where it would gradually strip out the voices until there was a single voice left. Sometimes with some ethereal sounds going on in the background. 
it thinned out. And I know that was the whole point. I understand that was the whole point of that of doing that was to thin it out so that when the entire ensemble came back in fully with that nice full sound, it would be more impactful. It would be more effective. And mission accomplished. They did a great job of doing that. But when it did thin out, boy, it got thin. <laughs> it really did. I was sitting there going, oh, oh, this sounds super thin. This sounds paper thin. I I I'm, I don't want to touch this because this is this is this is so thin it sounds fragile. That thing needs more power, that's all it needs. And then it would come back in and it would hit hard, and I'd be like, oh thank god we're back into this now. Yes, good. Um I like the percussiveness they had on the instrument in the beginning. I believe that was a bass with uh with a really interesting distortion patch on there, almost like a synth distortion patch on it to give it that little extra attack. Now, that can be done also just by turning it, by cranking the presence of the gain um, and playing with picks right over the pickup. I mean, you could do that and get, you know, with, with, a, with your typical distortion patch and you can get the exact same effect. I'm willing to bet he did both. I'm willing to bet he still cranked with the presence Still cranked up the gain, played with the pick right over the pickup with a synth distortion patch and got that got that very impactful tone that they did from the beginning. But it did sound like a bass. It did not sound like a guitar. Now, maybe it was a keyboard. Very possible. Very, very possible. But something tells me that was a bass. Um, no, but I mean, look, overall, I enjoyed the song. I, I did feel it was a little long, but I understand why. It's for a video game. They have to come to a point where they have to loop, you know what I mean? They have to come to a point in the song where they're able to loop it cleanly. And I, I saw where that was. I even I think I said during the reaction, I said, it sounds like they came back to the beginning again. That would have been the great place to start a loop, was right there. You know, right before that section starts, cut it, loop it, and have that loop go until they need it to come out. Um, As far as placement of the song in the video game, I've never played the game, but I'm willing to bet this is another one of those songs that they use when they're going through. This doesn't sound like a boss battle. This sounds like <coughs> progression. You're pushing through the level, pushing through the level, killing everything in front of you. Uh, maybe a couple jump scare spots. That would be nice with those, you know, where, where it tapers down and there's that single voice, those breakdowns. Maybe that'd be a good place for a jump scare or two. And then when it comes back in full, just hordes of enemies and you're just killing your way through them. Uh, I, this is the type of song I could see that being used for. Um, I could very well be wrong. Maybe this is boss battle music. It, it could be. I could see, you know, the, now that I think about it, it could be. This could be boss battle music. Um, with like a multi-stage boss where you think you killed it, right? And that's where the music comes down. You think it's over. And then all of a sudden you see the boss's health bar go whoop, and, and then boss stands up again round two that's even harder now you know what i mean and you know maybe this was one of those three stage bosses that you have to fight over you know just you, you just when you think it's over and done oh come on <laughs> you know <laughs> like you killed him twice now he's getting back up again what do i have to do to kill this thing and then you know it'll cut scene over to this you know special weapon that's flashing they have to pick up that's the only way to kill him the only weapon that'll do damage now that he's on the third stage you know now, look, I don't know if this is anything that actually happens within the game. I've never played the game. So I'm guessing here, based on past gameplay of similar games like Borderlands, and uh, it wouldn't shock me <laughs> if that was the kind of stuff they pull in this game. I, I know I got to play this game eventually, and I will. I will play this game eventually. Eventually, I'm going to run out of stuff to play, and I'm going to be like, well, that's all that's left, you know? But I, I'll get there. I know I'll get there. Um, but as far as the song goes, I, I do feel confident with that 7.8. I, I think this is a really good song. Not written-wise, from a songwriting standpoint, not as much going on as BFG Division, but I liked this song more than BFG Division. So, anyway, 7.8, I feel good with that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So 7.8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. 
Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.